friends, my name is Rita, and I wanted to give a big shout out to those who are watching online today. Even though some of us are on campus, there is still new online content for you and your family to enjoy when you're doing church at home. Make sure to check out the parent guide on our website for fun activities that your family can enjoy each week. Now I think it's time to head over to worship. Hope you have a great time.
Makes me thirsty. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Going on a scavenger hunt, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. I only have one blue thing left to find on my list. Blue is a beautiful color. It's true. I know someone who made all the things that are blue. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. <sighs> oh, hi, everyone. I'm Justin the Mailman. Wow, what a beautiful day. I woke up this morning and did a big stretch. And I said, hello, day. Can you do a big good morning stretch and say that with me? Ah, hello, day. Great job. That reminds me of a true story from the Bible about when God made everything in the whole world. Do you want to hear it? Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. In the very, very beginning, there was 
Nothing. No people. No animals. No land. No ocean. No sun. No earth. Just nothing. But there was God. And God was about to do something amazing. Are you ready for this? On the first day, God said, let there be light. And there was light. Amazing, bright, shining light. And God said, that's good. Everyone say, that's good with me. That's good. And it was. Then God decided to separate the light from the darkness. He called the light day. And what do you think he called the dark? Night, that's right. And because on day one, God made the light and the dark, we now get to wake up every morning and see the light. And every night, we get to go to sleep in the dark. That was day one of God making the world. Now, what comes after one? Two, that's right. On day two, God made water and put some way down low and put the sky way up high. Then God saw what he had made and God said, that's good. Everyone say that's good with me. That's good. Okay, so on day one, God made light and dark. And on day two, God made the sky above the water. Day one, light and dark. Day two, sky over water. And this was just the beginning. God making the light, the dark, the sky, the water. He had so many more plans of what to make next because God made everything. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who made everything? God made everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made everything? God made everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God made light and dark and sky over water. And he did it all on day one and day two. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, God made light and dark and the sky and all of the water in the world. God made everything. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. Water is blue, just like the things on our list. We only have one thing left, the blue book. Shout if you see it. The blue book is our Bible. I'm gonna go read all about how God made water. I'll see you next time. And it was very good. Genesis 131. God saw everything he had made. And it was very good. Genesis 131.